is motivation. And even if you do have it, you watching this video tells me that you don't know how to utilize it. So if you want to know, carry on watching. The examples I use in this video are mainly from first person shooters, but it can apply to literally anything. Any multiplayer game, any single player game, it works. It's true that some people are just more gifted than others. You probably see their improvement everywhere. You know, that guy, that one friend that always gets good at video games, literally the day that he plays them, he's better than everyone else. But you can't let this dishearten you. You might not have the genetics, but by following these kind of tips and these tricks, and by motivating yourself and actually having fun playing the game, because I mean, what's the point being good at video games if you don't have fun playing them? You can be better than them, and you can actually outlast them in skill. First thing to do is to have a goal, and I don't just mean a rank that you want to get to. It's good to have that noted down in your mind, but it can't be the forefront of your focus. The reason for that is because it's simply too vague. Gaining this amount of ranked points isn't going to help you improve in any sort of way, and actually can be a detriment to not only your performance, to how fast you improve because you're going to be aimlessly playing the game and not really gaining anything. Instead, you need to be more specific and targeted with your goals. What skill sets, what things do you actually want to improve? Let's use Valorant for an example because it's probably the game that I'm going to get the biggest reach from. I'll split it down into three main categories, game sense, aim and movement. Now these are just random, it's just to make things easy for the sake of explaining, but let's say that you wanted to improve on your game sense. Even that is still too broad of a thing to improve on, so we need to break it down even further. Let's say that we want to improve our clutches specifically. So the next time that you get into a ranked game and find yourself in a clutch situation, you're going to think harder and try and analyse what's going on more to improve specifically at that thing. And you're going to find that you actually have a lot more fun doing that. Alongside this, if you're really serious about improvement, I highly recommend you go and watch other players' VODs, like pro player VODs, or just generally anyone that's better at the game, your choice of game than you are, and figuring out what they're doing in those specific situations so you can translate to your game. The reason I don't want you to do this on a larger scale for just things in general is because it's way harder for you to translate all of those things over at once, and you might get like general tips and tricks down a couple of times, but then you'll forget them. And it kind of goes through one ear and out the other. By doing it in these specific chunks, you're actually making targeted improvement and you're getting better way faster. Because now you aren't just autopiloting games, you're actually specifically thinking about things you want to get good at. And this applies for literally anything. We can move into movement, for example. You want to get really good at movement. You want to be like the Foon of Valorant or the Flights or something like that. Having this goal to get better at doing this satchel or entering in this way pathing in this way is actually a lot more fun believe it or not than just opening up the game and saying i'm gonna gain 100 200 300 r today you don't really gain anything from that but by putting myself in a position where i'm specifically focusing on this one skill set or group of skill sets i'm going to be able to see those small micro improvements and as a result i'm going to be significantly more likely to keep playing and to be motivated to keep pushing my skill level at the same time, you need to be careful with the goals that you're setting. If you're already good at something, even though it might be tempting, there's no real reason to focus on it more. If you already have pretty good aim, you can get better, but your improvement's going to be significantly slower than if you moved on to, let's say, a different skill set. And so you aren't really going to be increasing your skill that much as a player, which can actually mean that you lose motivation over time. Because even though you're good at this skill set and you're tempted to train it more to get better at it, you're going to hit a mind block at some point because it's going to take more and more work to get better at that thing. So you might just stop playing the game entirely. This is pretty much what being hard stuck is. It's not focusing on the things that you're not so good at, which leads to this spiral where you kind of autopilot again. And you might have experienced this too. You might have hundreds of hours like quite literally hundreds of some people maybe even thousands where you genuinely feel like you can't improve and this has nothing to do with you as a human it's not that you're incapable of improving whatsoever but instead that maybe you're focusing on the wrong things or just not focusing at all if you're looking to get better in a conventional way for instance trying to be as good as the pros trying to reach the top rank of a game then you can't be scared by the concept of ranked and playing ranked games and even losing your rank if you were good enough to be at your rank or to be a high rank, trust me, you will get there. You will be able to take it back pretty much instantly. Focus your time on you actually getting better instead of the system telling you that you're good. It's more so just a checker for your progress. And that's going to be a lot more fun for you as well. Setting goals actually means you don't need to put as much time into the game either. I know that's probably a really big issue for a lot of you where you feel that you don't want to put or you can't put 
enough time into video games to get good. It's true that you may not have the 8 or 9 hours a day that some pro players put into the game, but you also don't need them if your focus and your work ethic towards your goals is good enough, technically. I'm not saying that you could become yay by playing two games a day, but I'm saying that you could theoretically get close. At least closer than if you just played the game with no goals expecting results. TLDR, give yourself a list of goals and set yourself goals that you can actually work towards, uh, not general like get good at moving or get good at aiming, but instead more like get good at micro flicks, get good at strafing. This way you'll see more improvement and you won't absolutely face roadblocks. If you enjoyed the video want me to make like a more full in-depth video like maybe 20 30 minutes long let me know in the comments down below don't forget to follow me in all my socials and of course subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bro fist